Okay, so in this video, I wanted to show you a great new feature uh, that was introduced in PCDMS 2019 R1. This is the probe calibration collision check. Um, so this check was introduced to avoid crashing the probe when it swings around on a long build like this um, and <laughs> could potentially smash into that bridge. Um, so what I've done in this program I wrote was put the calibration sphere on the extreme left hand side um, so that under normal circumstances prior to this collision check it would actually collide into that bridge. My probe file has three probe builds. I have uh, A0B0, A90B-90 so pointing to the left and then A90B180 pointing to the back of the machine. So with those three you will see a lot of swinging and rotating in the horizontal position, which um, in this case, without the collision check, would crash into both the left and the right hand side of the bridge. Okay, so let's um, go to my PCDMIS program and I'll, I'll launch the inspection and I'll show you some of the new prompts. Okay, so here we are in my PCDMIS program. The first thing I want to take a look at is the settings in uh, setup options, F5 on your keyboard. So in the part machine tab, you can see at the bottom there, there's a section for the CMM limits for collision check. These, um, I did not fill these in. So these were automatically populated by the software reading the controller. So this is true for most controllers. Um, you can edit these yourself if you need to. Uh, but for me, I found it loaded automatically and it just worked the first time, which is great. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, launch our probe calibration. Okay, so here's the first new prompt. Do you want to run the collision check? So I'll answer yes and we'll see what's next. Okay, so PCDMIS has run a quick mini collision check in the background and reported uh, its findings. In my case it needed to add three safety moves um, so it should be safe to calibrate now. So I'll go ahead and click OK and launch my calibration. Okay so we're back to our machine and the calibration has started. So here's my A0B0. Obviously this one will be fine because it's <laughs> it's vertical and it's nowhere near the bridge. So when this one is done, we're going to switch to A90B-90 and then you'll see the safety moves. Okay, so tip one is done. And you see that move there? So that's safety move number one and it's safe to rotate. If that move wasn't there, there's a possibility that could have collided with the bridge. So it puts it in the center of the volume, safely rotates and proceeds to calibrate. Okay, so that's the end of this tip. So now, this is another safety move. See how it moved to the center? And you can see right there that that would have actually crashed into the bridge on the right hand side. Um, so it was a nice safe move, just went to the center, rotated, and um, we're good to proceed. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I hope you found that useful. Uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.